The first lure in this list is the Sabeel Magic Swimmer. This lure right here is perfect for catching your first striper. This model in particular is the white with red head Sabeel Magic Swimmer. It has a perfect profile. It's wide on the side, skinny vertically, and it's just an all out fish catcher. This particular lure, this one right here, I found it on the beach and birds were pecking at it on the sand. It just goes to show you how realistic the Sabeel Magic Swimmer can be. The next lure in this list is the black over purple Daiwa Salt Pro Minnow in floating. This lure right here is a nighttime lure. See, unlike a needlefish or a bucktail, which are two flagship nighttime striper fishing lures, you're actually gonna be able to feel this working in the water. You're gonna cast this out and again, just reel it back at a moderate pace. It can handle a variety of surf conditions from flat calm to mild chop. You can't use this thing in a nor'easter, but for most of your fishing applications, especially with a beginner, this lure is going to be fine. Anytime that there are small bait fish in the mix like sand eels, this lure is absolutely perfect. Great beginner lure, and it will catch you a lot of fish. The final lure in this lineup is the Tsunami Sand Eel 7 inch soft plastic sand eel. This lure caught me the most fish in my 2016 season. It's another lure that you can uh, feel working in the water. You can just feel that tail thumping along when you're retrieving at the right pace. And that action alone is going to catch you a lot of fish with a very simple and straightforward retrieve. Anytime that there are sand eels in the mix, anytime there are sand eels even remotely around the area that you're fishing, this lure will catch fish. There are certain situations where the tsunami sand eel won't call in fish like it should, and that's when I tie on a brown over chrome or sand eel color Daiwa Salt Pro Minnow, also floating. This lure right here has a little bit more of an aggressive swimming action than the tsunami sand eel, which is beneficial in some situations when you need a reaction bite from the stripers. They see it wiggling by aggressively and quickly, they see the chrome flash, and they can't resist it. A lot of times, I'll go cast after cast without a hit on the Tsunami Sand Eel. Then I'll tie on one of these, also a Sand Eel imitator, and start getting bit. It's just a matter of getting out there and finding what works in your specific area. These lures are simply going to be great for beginning anglers who need to boost their confidence on the water. All right guys, thank you very much for watching Fishing with Andrew Burke. If you like my content, please consider subscribing and leaving this video a like.